Clarice, it's an away trip to Sunderland this Saturday. How's training been this week for the team? Yeah, training's been really good, really intense. Um, the boys have been obviously buzzing to basically get back to like, getting results. So, yeah, we'll start from Watford, obviously, the 2 2 results. So, yeah, it was a good start. And um, obviously, like, just, yeah, everyone's just buzzing to be obviously back and firing to go and just, yeah, try and get as many points as we can from now to the end of the season. A bit about yourself, Tyrese, and you obviously had an injury just after Christmas, which kept you out for a number of weeks. It must have been challenging for you, but now you're back fully fit and looking to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, it was tough, obviously, watching the boys like obviously play for a few weeks and not being able to do anything about it, but um, I'm just glad to be back and now I can obviously build up some consistency to obviously get back to playing how I was, obviously, before the injury and stuff, so yeah. Travelling up tomorrow to Sunderland, obviously with you being one of our lone players, how have you found settling into the group this season? I found it really easy to be fair. Obviously, like, I know the club well because I was here as an academy boy, so like, I know the area and stuff, so I've not found it hard. And obviously a few of the boys that were here when I was in the academy obviously now progressing to the first team, so I found it really easy setting the in. And obviously the boys are really good because obviously the senior pros know that it's like my first real year in the championship, so you know, obviously the demands are very high being here and it's a massive club, but you know, that's something I thrive off, so yeah, it's been good. With the long journey, obviously, to Sunderland on the coach, do you have any sort of designated seat? Do you play some Uno with some of the guys? What's your sort of away day journey? No, plan? I'm more like an earphone guy, like I just listen to music and just chill. But yeah, like a lot of the boys, they play Uno on my table, so like Junior Yikes and obviously like Amadou and you know the Senegalese boys, they sit on my table and that, so yeah, a bit of banter flying around, but yeah, I just chill to be fair. I'm sure you have certain targets for yourself this season. Would it be a case of, sort of more games and potentially contributing with goals and assists when you can? Yeah, obviously, like I, I like to consider myself as a box to box midfielder, so just trying to get in a box and then trying to shoot more in games because I feel like I do the hard bit really well, like carrying the ball and stuff, but it's just obviously the numbers as well in my position. It's all about scoring goals and assists. That's what gets you up higher up in the table or in the league. So. Yeah, just for me, it's just about numbers now, like trying to get shots off as much as I can in games and hopefully converting it into goals or assists or creating chances, so yeah. And a few words on our opponents. It'll be a tough test for us. It's an intimidating stadium, but we just have to sort of be a bit pragmatic and focus on our, our game plan. Yeah, of course. Um, we can't worry too much about Sunderland. Obviously, we give them massive respect because, you know, they're, they're a great team, obviously doing really well in the championship. but. Um, it's all about us and what we do as a, as a team and you know as a, as a group really going into the game and if we play by the game plan that we've got um, we've got more than more than a chance to obviously get three points here.